Welcome, this is Terry Ewell. Perhaps the most difficult aspect of study number 36 is keeping the dotted eighth and sixteenth note rhythm. It is easy to create triplets like this. Instead, the sixteenth notes need to be one fourth of each beat. In the third complete measure of line one, I like to use the French C sharp fingering, so I will use the alternate fingering for G sharp three to avoid shifting my right hand little finger. Let's work on shaping articulated phrases. Many students have no difficulty making musical expression with slurred phrases. I will play this without the mordant and here play with slurs. However, when you introduce the tongue component four, all of a sudden component one, the air, no longer works independently. Here is the phrase slurred first and then tongued. I'll use the same air when phrasing both. Music's been a part of my life since a very young age. In kindergarten, teachers discovered some musical talent in me and I started study on the piano sometime in the first grade. Later, I started the bassoon in the fourth grade. In the midst of all of that musical training, I never guessed that I would discover God. I thought that you found God in a church, but that isn't where my life was touched by him. I attended a music camp, Maristone Music Festival, in the Pacific Northwest at the age of 15. It was a three-week camp and I think it was the second summer I had attended. A friend of mine had been to a church camp that prior month, and his life was dramatically altered through an experience there. When he accepted Jesus into his life, he felt a dramatic change. He told me that now he prayed on his paper route for dogs not to bite him, and for God's help in all his other duties. He said that God did indeed help him and life was different. Now he even read the Bible enthusiastically every day. I was familiar with the Bible since I had attended a church for several years with my family. However, I didn't understand much about Jesus' life, how a person could communicate with God, and on the whole, I didn't see any relevancy to any of it. However, as we talked more and more, it started to make sense. It was a Thursday evening, and it was now time to go to our evening orchestral rehearsal. We arrived at the hall only to see a sign posted that the rehearsal was canceled. All the years I attended the camp as a student, and later as a teacher, eight years in all, a rehearsal has been canceled only once that very evening. We went back to our dormitory and talked some more. He lent me his Bible to read that evening. I don't remember the exact moment of the change, but sometime that evening I knew that I had connected with God. I had found God. I had asked God to change my life, and I yielded myself to Him. I distinctly remember the way in which my mind was changed. It was as if a fog had been lifted from my brain. Colors seemed brighter. I began to understand spiritual things in a different way. And for the first time, I felt peace in my life. 
This was a tremendous transformation for me, the greatest I have ever experienced in my life. If you are interested in making this choice in your life, please see the following. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.